Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at restoring a Yoroi software wallet. It can seem like kind of a nerve-wracking process, but trust me, it's really not that bad. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is come to cardano.org. We'll go to Individuals, and we'll click on Yoroi Wallet, and that will take us to the Yoroi site. So here we are on the Yoroi Wallet website. We're going to come to download. We're going to select the browser that we're using. Um, I'm on Brave, so I'm going to select Chrome because Brave is built on top of Chrome. It's going to take us here to the Chrome Web Store. We're going to click on Add to Brave. We're going to click on Add Extension. And there we go. Yoroi has been added to Brave. So, so far, so good. So now we can click on this icon, or we can come to our Extension Manager and click on Yoroi. We're going to go ahead and select our language. We'll go with English. Take a moment and read through this term of service agreement. We're going to skip it for now, but you should read through it. So I'm going to agree with terms of use and continue. Okay, in terms of the wallet types, we'll go with simple. And this is about Cardano payment URLs. We can set these up later, so let's skip them for now. And we're going to confirm that, yeah, we're skipping the payment URL setup for now. So here we are on the main dashboard. From here, we can either connect to a hardware wallet, we can create a Yoroi software wallet, or we can restore a previous Yoroi software wallet. We've come here to restore our wallet, so we'll click on Restore. We're going to restore a Cardano wallet, and we're going to use our 15-word recovery phrase that we got when we first set up our Yoroi wallet the first time. It's going to be a Shelly era wallet. We can give this wallet a name. It can be the same name you used last time or any other name. That part doesn't matter. We'll call it the same thing, but you can call it whatever you'd like. And now here we need to enter our recovery phrase. And again, our recovery phrase is the phrase of 15 words that we wrote down on the three separate pieces of paper. So go ahead and get one of those three pieces of paper. And what you're going to want to do now is the same way as how you confirmed it back to the wallet when you first set it up. You're going to want to enter the 15 words here in order exactly as they're written. So go ahead and pause the video here, enter the 15 words. We'll do the same, and then we'll meet you back here when you're done. Okay, so we're going to enter our last word. Cool. And so now we need to enter a new spending password. It can be the same one as you did before. But again, the important thing here is that it is a secure password that only you know. And so with all of that set up, we're going to click on Restore Wallet. So here, if we had previously written down our checksums and we remembered the avatar that was created for us, we can confirm them here. The other thing you can do is you can look at past transactions that you've done, either from the exchange to your wallet or between wallets, and you can confirm that the addresses that are now created with this new wallet match the ones that you had in your previous wallet. So assuming that you've confirmed one of these things and everything looks right, we'll hit confirm and it'll drop us into our wallet's dashboard. So for us, we never funded this wallet, but for you, you'll see all of your funds here exactly as they were before, because remember, this wallet is an identical copy of the one that you had before. The 15 words that we used is exactly how the private keys were generated, and so it is indistinguishable from the one that you had before. You see, that wasn't so bad, was it? I told you. So now that you're all set back up again, if the last time you set up your wallet, you didn't take the time to delegate to a stake pool, now might be a good time to do that, or maybe reevaluate your stake pool delegation. Check out our previous video on selecting the right stake pool for you. We'll see you in the next video.